Okay guys, here we are again, back at the park, see where the sun is, um, back with the, uh, with the modified setup, just tried to show you the DX6, so I'll roll in some pics if uh, the video is not any good, um, just show you the radio is in range check mode once again, and I've got it set up so that when fail safe goes, the servo starts moving just like I did before. So I'm just going to put that where I want it. That there will do. That's stopped. So what I'm going to do, like I did before, <clears throat> I'm going to walk away from the radio directly towards the same tree that we did in the first test. Hopefully no one will run off with the DX6i and we'll be able to see the range improvement given by this modification. Okay, so let's get walking. I'm not going to pace it again. I'm going to use Google Earth to do the measurements and uh, we'll see how we go. So in range check mode, it looks like we've got about another, about another 15 metres. I'm now about five metres from the tree. So, not a massive increase in range check mode, however, uh, the radio is very low, it's only a few feet from the ground, and the ground here falls off quite considerably. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to walk sideways, okay, so this ground raises up here, I'm just going to see, there we go, we've got control back. I haven't walked closer to the radio, I've just walked sideways and the ground raises up here slightly. <coughs> Walking sideways. Continue. Right, I'm going to start walking away from the bench again. Right, yeah, at that range there, we're, uh, we're getting the signal drop out again. The great thing is, we know for a fact that we've improved our range check by about 15 metres, which, which doesn't sound a lot, uh, but on the full range setting on the radio, that would amount to quite a large improvement. We'll go back to the radio now and we'll wrap this one up. Right okay, guys, here we are back at the radio. Still in range check mode as you can see. So there we are. We are using a three leaf and a four leaf omni aerial, omni directional aerial uh, to increase the range. There's no uh, fiddling with the power settings, uh, just literally modifying the orange receiver and the DX6i to give yourself an increase in range and a much, much more robust signal because of the circularly, right hand circularly polarised aerials on your setup. Now for proximity FPV at reasonable ranges, this is a great idea. Um, this was the reason that I was experimenting with this setup because I was really interested to see if I could use my existing radio to give me really good legal um, solid connection for flying at this park. Well, I can get almost halfway across it using this in range check mode. So I know pretty much anywhere I go in this park, even if I'm flying behind things, 
this should give me a solid signal. I'll see you in the next episode where I show you how to convert your orange receiver and any 2.4 GHz radio with a UFL connection inside. Bye for now. <laughs>